CTV News at 5 with Hudson Mack. Victoria Police say a taxi was involved in a hit-and-run accident last night, and they have now arrested the cab driver and picked up his passenger as well. Victoria Police say a man reported that about 11 o'clock last night, he had been hit by a cabbie on Lampson Street and Esquimalt Road and said the taxi left the scene. Officers tracked down the cab in View Royal, and they say the driver, a 42-year-old View Royal man, was violating his curfew. Police also say they recognized the passenger in the cab, a man wanted for questioning and a break and enter. Officers tracked down the taxi to View Royal uh, near Old, Old Island Highway and Six Mile Road. The taxi driver, a 42-year-old View Royal resident, was found to be in breach of his conditional sentence order. Meanwhile, the taxi's fare was recognized as a prolific property crime offender and the suspect of several b &E investigations. The 44-year-old Victoria man was found with a digital camera that was reported stolen from a Sydney break and enter uh, several days ago. The passenger was released from custody with a court date set for March. The taxi driver was held in custody and given a ticket for failure to remain at the scene of a crash. Well, the federal government gave BC shipbuilding industry a boost today with investment that will train Vancouver Island's shipbuilders of the future. More than a million dollars is going towards construction of the new marine training center at the graving dock in Esquimalt. It's the next step in the Harper government's shipbuilding action plan. The Industrial Marine Training and Applied Research Center will help train workers and help provide funding for students. I think the big thing is this is a long-term strategy. It, it's an investment. It's, there's careers. These are careers. They're not just you know, a welding course for a couple of months and you're going to be looking for a job. This is a career. In this is great news for, uh, for the Victoria area and I think it's great news for the industry as a whole because we'll be able to move forward now and, and start bringing the training back into the industry that, that's been sorely lacking for over the last number of years. So it, it does allow us the opportunity to bring the young people into the industry, give them the skills that they need to move forward into the industry, but also to give us, let us upgrade people that are currently in the industry that did, haven't had the training. The facility will offer everything from entry-level training, apprenticeship programs, to management skills, and a research department. If you'd like to find out more, uh, log on to the address on your screen. Two people were sent to the hospital and a woman was trapped inside her car after a rollover crash in Esquimalt. Police shut down Admirals Road and Parkland Street for two hours this morning to get the woman out of the truck. Police say the two vehicles collided, one flipped on its roof and landed on its, uh, on its side and then landed on its roof. Well, that's what our belief is. The SUV is pulling out of the driveway uh, to the side of us here, and this uh, Acura, again, behind us here is coming along. Might not have had a clear sight of vision uh, underneath all the other uh, cars that are parked along there. So we're going to be looking at all that, uh, be looking at vision and sight, lines of sight and all that. Victoria Police say both drivers suffered minor injuries. The cause of the crash is still under investigation. And a 24-year-old Esquimalt man remains in hospital in stable condition after crashing his car in the 900 block Esquimalt Road early Sunday morning. The man suffered serious head injuries after crashing into several parked cars. A 20-year-old woman in the passenger seat was not injured. Police say the investigation is focusing on speed and alcohol. Hazmat crews were busy cleaning up the 2800 block of Adelaide Avenue in Saanich today after 300 litres of home heating fuel spilled into a storm drain. BC Hazmat says the oil was being pumped into a tank that was leaking. Well, safety is key. Um, we make sure everybody's safe first, but uh, today our main goal is to pull up the pipe, uh, inspect the surroundings around the pipe, uh, the soil, uh, if there's any contamination. Um, if it's uh, safe, we're good to go. We just simply replace the piping, uh, we clean the piping that was in it, and we dispose of it properly. BC Hazmat says there was minimal harm to the environment. It'll take a couple of days to finish the cleanup. People who ride regional transit in the Namor are going to have to dig a little deeper. Fares are going up by 25 cents. Beginning March 1st, the fares for adults and university students will cost about a quarter more, setting it back $2.50 per ride. The Namo Regional Transit says it hasn't had a fare increase in years. Well, we actually haven't at the Regional District of Nanaimo had a fare increase since 2008, where we actually only increased just the cash fares of the f total fare structure. So um, we've had a lot of increases in the total service delivery. Uh, cost of fuel has gone up by approximately 20%, and then just the uh, cost of operating the buses has gone up dramatically. The Nanaimo Regional Transit says children under five will still ride for free.